In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Layout It website to create a template <clears throat> for uh, a web page that has Bootstrap um, integrated into it. So one of the things that you'll need to do, of course, is to sign up for, uh, for using this site. Um, and I do apologize, it does have a lot of links, or sorry, a lot of ads and whatnot, but it is um, actually a, a fairly decent uh, tool for creating, um, uh, creating interfaces. So once you log in, I think one of the things it might do is bring you straight to the bottom part of the page um, where you can choose one of the different um, starter templates. Um, and I think probably the easiest thing to do is to start with the basic marketing site um, or the, the starter template. Although really it doesn't really matter. And basically what I'm going to show you here is how to, how to start from nothing. Then I'm just going to go ahead and choose uh, article as the uh, initial <coughs> um, template for the site that I'm going to create. So along the left hand side is the menu system where you'll see a number of different pieces that we can use for um, our interface. Uh, in the middle here is the canvas for dragging and dropping um, the different components of the, um, of the page. Um, and then uh, along the top, a, a way for you to be able to download and edit and preview um, your, uh, your design. So I am going to start with deleting everything. Um, just because we don't actually need it all. Uh, I want to show how to get there from, uh, from scratch. So uh, whenever you create um, a web page uh, or you create something with Bootstrap, the way that it works is that uh, you have these grid systems uh, that allow you to design uh, your interface with um, several partitions. Um, and if you look, I don't know if you can see this very well, but um, the top partition here is if you want to just have a 12-cell um, or a 12-unit um, um, container, then you use the first one. Or you could have two six-unit containers that um, are part of this. There's a eight-unit and a four-unit, and then four, sorry, three, four units. Uh, let me drag one of these over here so that we can see what I'm talking about. So if you look at um, this container, it has in it a row with three columns, and these are each basically the same size, four units, if you will. Um, and there were other versions of this. There's the, the eight and the four, so you get a little bit of a bigger unit here on the left, and then a smaller one there on the right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose just the 12 um, unit uh, element. Okay, so the next item that I want to put on this page is... Um, I'm going to put a navigation bar, and there are a couple of different kinds of navigation bars that we can use. Actually, it's here in the second group. There's this, uh, this navs. I can drop this over here, and you'll see it's basically tabs with a drop down. Um, you can change the style of how those look, so there's different buttons if you want to have that. Um, the one that I actually want to use is a navigation bar. Uh, which I believe is under JavaScript. So this is the nav bar. I'm going to put this here. And the reason that this is under the JavaScript component is that in order to actually run this uh, in your page, uh, you need to use the full boots, uh, Bootstrap library, which includes um, a library, sorry, a uh, JavaScript library. Okay, so I've, I've put that here into. Uh, uh, into this interface, and I'm going to configure this so that this appears fixed at the top of the screen. Um, there are actually other positions that we could put this in. It could be down at the bottom. That looks stupid. Uh, we'll put it up at the top because um, I think that's where it best falls. And then the other thing um, that I want to add is just, uh, just another feature that we'll put into the body of the page. And you don't have to have this. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to add jumbotron as another thing, and this is just basically a message with some text and a button. Um, but what I would like you all to do when you're working on uh, using this is um, I would like you to just play around with this site, 
uh, play around with the different components, figure out different ways of being able to add things to the page. Uh, actually, let me show you one thing that we, you could do. For instance, um, if you remember, I did the 12 unit. I'm going to put a 8 and 4 in here. Um, I'm going to put the nav bar back in here. Oops, nav bar here. I'm going to put that as fixed on the top. Uh, I'm going to take that same jumbotron, drop it here. Uh, and what you're seeing here then is, you know, just a natural way of being able to partition your partition your site. Uh, let me find another. There's a paragraph component. I'm going to put that there. So anyway, that's uh, that's the first piece that I needed to let you know about. The second piece is um, you can preview your site using the preview button, so you can get to get a chance to see what it actually looks like. Um, obviously, these things aren't going to be functional, but um, the idea here is that you want to be able to just kind of test things out, see how they, see how they work. Um, the other part then that I want to do, ooh, I don't know what I just did. Um, probably something I didn't want to. Okay, uh, the other piece that I want to do is show you how to how to uh, uh, download all of this. So once you've completed designing your site. You can use the download button. Um, what it'll do is show you just all the text that would be contained within your page if this is all just HTML. Um, now, what I would suggest is that, that you don't just use the HTML, but rather you download everything as a zip file. So I'm going to do that here. And so now, actually, you can't even see this. Um, I've got in my downloads folder uh, the layout it .zip file, and then I'll use this later. Actually, in a in a later video, um, we'll use this uh, uh, this file, which contains all the source, contains all the CSS and the JavaScript uh, needed to use this uh, on a web page. From now, the main thing is um, in this video is that this is how you use the site. Um, these are the uh, this is how you download it's through using the download button, um, and you can basically do a WYSIWYG kind of uh, design of your web page uh, with uh, Bootstrap. Anyway, that.